Welcome back fellow airplane builders and aviation enthusiasts. I wanted to give you a quick update here with a video on uh, what was a relatively decent milestone but a long boring process. Zenith calls for standard L uh, which is just a simple four foot long right angle channel made out of 25 thousandths thick material. They call through that in a lot of places throughout the uh, build of the airplane. So it's in the wings, it's in the fuselage. They use them as stiffeners and structural uh, doublers in a lot of different places. So the standard L is simply a four foot long piece of aluminum cut off at a 36 millimeter developed length here. 36 millimeters wide by four feet. You bend it down the center and it, it uh, the finished product is 19 by 19 on a side. It's all through the aircraft. You need a ton of it. On there, uh, they don't specify how many pieces that you need, but if you go on their website and take a look at their a la carte ordering for kit parts and things like that, um, it comes to about 64 pieces. So I went ahead and made 64 pieces and it was a long, boring, ridiculously obnoxious process. Here we have six stacks of 10 pieces of L each and uh, one stack of four for a total of 64. Now, because the online catalog uh, may not be completely up to date, it's quite possible I'll either have a few of these left over or still need to make a couple, but um, it's uh, a lot of these pieces in the, in the airplane and they're very just tedious to make. Uh, the easiest way to do it is simply to cut a 36 millimeter piece off the end of a four foot wide sheet of aluminum, uh, file the burrs off of each side of it, uh, leave the factory edges alone, file the burrs off the long end, uh, long edge, and uh, and then uh, mark a line down the middle and go ahead and put it in the brake and bend it. And what I typically did was I would cut 10 or, 10 or 12 pieces at a time, fi uh, file each one after I cut it, uh, and then bent them all in the brake. Um, just a very tedious process. Uh, I, I, there's no real good way to do it. One of the one of the best ways to start building your airplane is to order a few sheets of 25 thousandths and then just start making L because if you do a homemade bending brake or even a factory bending brake for that matter, you really get to learn the bending behavior of the brake while you're making a, a fairly easy part. So um, this represents about 12 hours worth of work. I broke it up into three or four segments um, and it takes yeah, about two hours to make 10 pieces. So um, using the Olfa knife to cut it off, cut off the uh, long strip clamped with a straight edge and then uh, go from there. But uh, what I did was I actually made all of the parts for the airplane that I'm going to make in 25 thousandths prior to making most of this L. I think I made eight total pieces of L before I uh, just left it alone and made every other part in the airplane. And lo and behold, with uh, I think four sheets of 25 thousandths total that I've used. Um, after I cut out all my big parts and everything, I had just about three fifths to three quarters of a sheet of 25 thousandths left. And that's almost exactly what this, uh, the remaining 18 pieces, or uh, excuse me, the remaining 58 pieces that I had to make uh, took up. So again, the easiest way to do this is just to start with a full four by 12 sheet, start cutting L, uh, start cutting your 36 millimeter wide strips off, do them maybe 10 at a time. Uh, you're going to get hand cramps. You're going to, I mean, manually filing them unless you're using a, a better deburring method. But I found that um, the quickest way for me to do it was to just use a Vixen file and go up and down the length a few times of these to deburr it. It actually didn't take very long, but yeah, it's, it's about an hour and a half to two hours for every 10 pieces that you do. So Everybody that builds a Zenith by plans dreads this part because it's just long and obnoxious, but we all have to do it. So I uh, wanted to show you that. If you got any questions, let me know. Good luck with your projects, and we'll see you next time.